Hello and welcome to King of Titan Racing. Now at the moment I keep getting the same question from pretty much everywhere. Tom, when are we going to see you driving this car? And up until now the answer to that has been I don't really know because if I'm honest I've been scared to drive it. I've been scared to drive it because having done the wide body kits, having done the respray to a quality that I never really thought I'd achieve, I don't want to ruin all this work by driving it on the road and getting chips all over the car from everything that's on the road. Even going across town, just to get its MOT, it got chips in the front bumper and some of the wings. So I've touched those in, and now i found a solution. PPF. Naturally then, the next question is going to be, what is PPF? So paint protection film, it's just a big clear sticker that goes over the car and it's going to take the impacts that normally your paint and the bodywork would take. Now I'm going to put it on the bonnet, the front bumper, front wings and the side skirts to start off with. And I've actually had it on the Aston for about two years, I think. And on the one time it did actually get a bit of a tear in the PPF, it did self heal the way it was supposed to. So that's all the evidence I need that this does its job. I'm working with Expel because as I said, I've used them before and they perform, but also they just get rave reviews and I think they're just top of the game. Now they also sell a kit which is great for people like me who've never done it before and in there it has everything you need including even colour coded bottles so you really can't get it wrong. So let's take a quick look at everything involved in that kit and I'll put a link in the description below and then it's time to seal ourselves in and get on with the job. The first panel for me is going to be the front wings. The reason being that I think they're probably the easiest of all the areas I've got to do, especially with areas like my bonnet. So the car has had a very thorough clean, as you can imagine, but now it's time for the individual panel prep, which is the last thing you do before fitting to each individual panel. So that starts with the slip solution, which is going to go all over it. And then I'm going over with a clay bar to make sure that I've picked up every last possible contaminant on the part. Then it's going to be a rub down with the alcohol, which gets it totally clean and dry and ready for fitment. Panel prep is now done, so now it's time for me to get up the piece of actual PPF and then prepare that. You have to prepare everything in this process. So I'm gonna hang it from the ceiling on these two hooks that I've set up. I'd heavily recommend you do the same if you haven't got someone to hold it for you because what we now need to do is spray the PPF with slip solution on both the outside and the inside that's gonna to be touching the car. And you need to do that as you're peeling it away from its backing sheet. So having something like this set up is gonna make life much easier. So that's now where I want it to sit and I've got it nice and flat all the way across the top of that panel right up to around the corner there. There is this grouping here which I will sort once the rest is tacked down in place. This is a little bit stretchy so I can pull it if I need to and at the same time if I have to I can do a relief cut but we'll see how I get to that bit once the rest is steady in place. Over here where it lifts, again as I said it's quite stretchy so once that's all tacked down there and there. I can spray tack solution in the back, squeeze you in and it'll stay in place. In general, that's gone really well. Uh, the whole panel across the top here is nice and flat and it looks great. The only issue is along this curve here, 
I think what I needed to do was maybe put in some relief cuts in the actual design. So I'm going to try that on the other side. What I've had to do here is put in some cuts and do a slight overlapping process. Now I think that once that properly dries on, that's actually not going to look too bad at all. And the edges here, what I've done is where the edges are lifting and just being really awkward, I've actually got a, an Expel edge pen as well. So once that dries off, I'm going to come back and then use that around behind the edges and that's an adhesive that will just really pin those down. Now that both front wings are stuck in place, I'm quite happy with how they've gone. And the technique I used was I found an anchor point starting with this corner and I worked my way across the panel. Now, one tip I would say is that when you're working at one end and working your way across, constantly be coming back and lifting the other end of the part that you're not working on and any other areas that you don't want to be perfectly in place now and staying there because you need to keep slip, slipping it. So slip it on the outside, slip it on the inside, that will dry it on its own. So I found that a couple of times it wasn't quite as uh, maneuverable as I was hoping for it to be. So there's one tip. And also I found that when I was doing this shape, where you've got the arch and the curve, it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. And I had planned to have this piece wrap up and under. That's not going to work. There was quite a lot of bunching around here and I had to do a bit of stretching to get this to lay flat. So what I've done is I've actually cut that right along the seam there. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference to how you're going to see the car, at least anyway. And then from a protection perspective, what I'm going to do is just put a separate strip along the inside there. So happy with those. Now it's time to do the bonnet. This is harder than I expected it to be after I decided it probably wouldn't be as hard as I thought it was going to be. And what I mean by that is I was kind of right. What I mean is the job is getting done. As you can see, I've done the three panels, the bonnet and the two front wings. And the job is getting done to a standard that I'm happy with. Just maybe not the standard I was expecting in my head after the other jobs that I'd never done before went so well. So. I can't see the value in paying someone else to do this on a project car or a track car, not at all. I could see the value on a supercar or an Aston or the Aston. I, I definitely won't be doing this myself on the Aston in the future because there a little line is going to be a big problem on that car, especially when it's parked next to other ones. But on a track car, you know, it's only where you've got an overlap. I may maybe have to make a slice and then overlap them. Doesn't make a difference really on here. It's going to be very hard to see once the car's actually finished so I'm happy with it and yeah it's it's just not worth what I would say two and a half grand 2.8 grand I think with some of the quotes I got for the same panels I'm going to do now and with the same material whereas I'm doing it all for I think about 650 quid so definitely a lot of saving in there worth doing it yourself what I'm going to do then is I'm going to let this dry and settle in then I'm going to come back and trim these overhangs around the edges I did do the bonnet vents already because they weren't taut like the edges are going to be. And once that's done, I'll then move on to the bumper and the side skirts.
on the edge of the bumper, I've left plenty of excess and trimming it away is really easy, at least it is with Expel. I'm not gonna be trimming it down this edge simply because this has a curve and a bend, so it's gonna create a lot of excess and bunching. What I'm gonna do instead is trim it along this line and then I'll put a separate piece on this flat part if I want to. All I need to do is run a scalpel along that edge lightly, but it won't go through the X-Bell. What it will do though is create a really good tram line and then I can just pull it and tear it away. I'm doing the front bumper in mainly two halves. I've taken a cut line along that ridge and the reason being that where this has a curve in it going round, there's also then a fold and that would create a load of bunching and make it really hard to do. This part and this part, this whole face is actually all in the same plane. So that's essentially one straight piece just folded a little bit. So that's gone quite well and been fairly easy to do. I've also, also had to do a few cutouts obviously for certain areas like this, but that's pretty easy as well. Once it's already taut, so you just kind of cut around it as you saw. When doing the side skirts, take your door off if you can. It's gonna make life a lot easier. It's gonna let you get right into that corner and also get yourself a helper because it's quite a long part and trying to get that piece on the car without it falling on the floor, it's gonna be a challenge. I've now gone over and touched up all those edges and those last remaining bubbles. So that's now ready to settle. I also took some time out to do the sun visor, which if you're gonna do this job, I'd heavily recommend as a starter because it gets you used to working with vinyl and that's a very similar technique. This is technically one of the most challenging jobs I've ever done. And actually I think it is the hardest job I've done on a car. So I definitely recommend getting some practice before you start this one. That's all ready to go now. So I'm gonna let that just settle on the car and harden on and then I finally get to take it for a shakedown test. That you'll come with me on, and then we get to go to the track. In the meantime, a like and subscribe makes a massive difference to us as a channel, and I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.